What's up everyone, it's Mike from Flight Club. Although the Proton can use 20 by 20 components, the way it mounts isn't exactly ideal. The way the armholes line up, you have to use the two back arm screws as part of the FC stack. There's really no way around that. I wanted to use the 20 by 20 components but still fly a Proton. So I designed a new frame with all the features of the Proton but designed specifically for the smaller 20 by 20 parts. So, this is the Flight Club Neutron. It's pretty much a smaller shrunk down proton designed specifically for 20x20 20 20 parts. The Neutron has all the features of the proton like a mini nucleus plate with uh, butter mounts. If you don't know what butter mounts are, butter mounts are a way of mounting the flight controller stack using these custom injection molded uh, silicone grommets that completely isolate the, um, the flight controller stack from vibrations coming from the frame. It cleans up the signal going to the gyro, so this helps increase your chance of a ultra smooth flight. It also has these threaded holes for the motor screws. This makes mounting and swapping arms super easy because you just screw these flathead screws right into the nucleus plate and then you're good to go. Also, the mini nucleus plate, like the Proton, has the ability to do uh, skeleton mode or hybrid canopy pod mode. Uh, skeleton mode is just building with four, um, four standoffs and a carbon fiber top plate. And the Neutron top plate has the slot, it's like the Proton, so where you can mount a GoPro. So you just, the GoPro mount has a little slot here, you just slide it in. And then once you uh, screw in these screws into the top, it locks the top plate or locks the GoPro mount in. So you're, it's really easy to mount with no, uh, no need for Velcro or zip ties or anything like that. And uh, the bottom plate is chamfered. Whoops. Well, this is the prototype, but the final version, the bottom plate will be chamfered and countersunk for a completely flat bottom. And then there's a little hole under here for your Velcro strap. The Neutron is slightly smaller and lighter than the Proton. It's 205 millimeters versus 215 on the Proton in the 5 inch configurations. The Proton in the 5 inch skeleton mode is around 78 grams and the Neutron with the 5 inch arms in the skeleton mode is about 65 grams with all the TPU camera mounts and VTX mounts. I say about because the measurements are of the prototype here. The final version may be a couple grams heavier because I beefed up the bottom plate and the nucleus plate. So both of these neutrons weigh around 230 grams with no props or batteries. Um, they're both built with the same parts. They're both using the Ori uh, 25A 4-in-1 ESC running Biaheli S, the Omnibus F4 V6, the uh, Foxer Aero Micro Pro, the AKK FX3 uh, 20x20 VTX. This is a great little VTX that has FC UART. So you can change um, PIDs uh, and the VTX ch channel, band, and power. It's kind of like the TBS Smart Audio, except this VTX is like 20 bucks or something like that. And they're both running the um, Lumineer Axis Stubby and the TBS um, Crossfire Nano. Um, I'll make a mount for this later on. So both of these neutrons are built identical except for the motor KV. They're both using the Brother Hobby R2-2205. Uh, this one is the 2522 and this one is running 1750. This one runs 4S with the HQ Props 5050 and flies great. It's currently my favorite setup. This one is actually running 6S. Um, even though the Ori 25A is, rate, is rated only for up to 4S, I've been running on 6S. You just have to be careful with the, um, with the setup. Too much amp draw will make the ESC desync and just flip out. Um, I first tried some 2204 1960 KV with 5040s and it just flipped out on punch outs. Same with these motors, the 1750 using 50 tri, 50, 50 tri blades. But on the 1750KV with uh, the HQ props 5x4.3x3, it'll fly fine as long as I don't have the throttle pinned at like 100% for too long. Originally I had one built with the uh, T-Motor F40 Pro V2 2400KV, flew great but I prefer, I prefer the lighter more agile setups of these uh, 2205 motors. This one I have set up for 3 and 4 inch. 
It's using the HGLRC F440 stack and is rated for up to 5S. And I'm using the Brother Hobby Avenger 1507 2800KV. This KV isn't really designed for 3 inch arms and 3 inch props like I have on here because with this setup I had to run it with a 5S battery so it was a little bit too heavy. For 3 inch it really needs something like 3600 KV um, which these motors do come in 3600 KV and uh, run a smaller 4S pack. But these, this uh, 2800 KV motors are great for 4 inch props on 5S. It, actually, it absolutely screams with um, the 4 inch props in this configuration. Um, at the initial release, the Neutron will, be, will only be available with 5 inch arms. Uh, the 3 inch arms, 4 inch, and 5 inch SX will be available soon. Um, I already have them cut, but there's still some testing that needs to be done, but it shouldn't be that long. The good thing is that the base Neutron is, with the nucleus plate, is the same for all configurations. So say if you want to switch from this 5 inch to a 3 inch, all you do is just swap out the arms. Um, right now the Neutron will be $65 for this setup. Uh, I wish I could have gotten the price lower, but it's essentially a smaller Proton. And the Proton is not cheap to produce. Like the Proton, the Neutron is loaded with details. milling. Uh, threaded holes, chamfering, bead blast, anodizing on the nucleus plate, uh, chamfered and countersunk bottom um, bottom plate uses premium carbon fiber and includes a camera mount, uh, VTX mounts. All these small details cost extra money to produce. If you want a basic frame with no details for like 40 or 50 bucks, there's a lot of frame makers out there that will fill that niche. But the Neutron is for people who care about details and quality. So let me know what you think about the Neutron in the comments below. What you like about it, what you don't you like about it, will you be flying one? Um, I'll tell you right now that this is my favorite setup right now. The My Neutron with the pod and the 2205 motors. Um, if you're someone who likes big motors and big power on 6S, the Proton will probably be better for that because the Proton is bigger and heavier. It can handle the bigger um, electronics. But the Neutron is for people who pre prefer precision over power. And also with the smaller um, arms, it's you can make really cool builds like this 3 inch right here. I'll probably swap these out for some 3600 uh, KV and then run a smaller 4S pack. And it should be a, a lot of fun. And with, it, with the ability to run the skeleton top plate, you can actually have a 3 inch quad that can handle a GoPro. Or carry a GoPro around. So that'll be fun. Alright, so in the comments below, let me know what you think about this quad. Thanks for watching, and um, see you in the next one.